<laughs> I got pulled over for the first time ever. There's Ryan Ardo. Hey. Um, no, it's just a cheeky little, uh, what day is it? Monday? It's a Monday. A cheeky Monday. Right? I know I sound like a broken record, so I say that all the time, but I just can't get enough of meeting new people. I absolutely love it. I am Jill, this is It's the Donnellys. I'm in the car on my way to work right now. I am a flight attendant, if you do not know. Look at, I've got my little uniform on. Today, I picked up a two-day trip to, this is actually a really cool one. Actually, they're all cool. I love all the places that we go. I just finished a two-day trip to um, Manchester, New Hampshire. And now I picked up a two day trip to Portland, Maine. So I'm leaving here and I'm flying down to Florida. I'm in Baltimore, by the way, I'm based in Baltimore, Maryland. And so I'm leaving Baltimore, I fly down to Florida, I fly back to Baltimore, I fly to Portland, Maine, spend the night, and then tomorrow fly back to Baltimore. And then I'm done, I have a day off, and then I go back on a three day reserve. So as a flight attendant, I'm a new flight attendant, so generally the trips or the, the assignments that I'm given from the company each month, like the schedule that I'm given, are reserved. So that means it's basically on call. So I get three on call days a week um, for the whole month. And this month I got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which is kind of what I wanted. And it's all bid by seniority. Since I don't have very high seniority, I do work um, some weekends. But Thursday, Friday, Saturday is actually a great schedule because I can fly home Sunday morning um, back down to Florida to um, make it in time for church with Mike and Ryan. So anyway, I'm headed off and I'm in I'm in the B position today. All the, the flight attendants each have different positions. So there's the A, the B, the C, and the D. And I've never been B before. I've never flown B before. So there's certain things I need to do um, and certain announcements that I need to make. I think I'm pretty okay with them, but um, I know the gentleman that I'm flying with today who's going to be with me in the back galley, so I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, I know this is a lot of lingo. I am going to do some more videos to share more about the flight attendant life with you guys so you understand more if you're interested. Sorry, got a phone call. Anyway, comment down below if you guys are interested in learning more about sort of flight attendant life, learning about the lingo, learning about all that stuff. I find it very fascinating and interesting, but again, I... I'm a flight attendant, so um, that's it. You can see right back there, I'm like realizing right now that there is a broom that you can see in my car. We had a huge snowstorm, and in anticipation of that, I'm like, Mike, do we have an ice scraper? No, but we have a broom, so I used the broom to get all the snow off my car when I got back to the airport after I've been flying, and it snowed while I was flying, and then it snowed while I was at home, so anyway. Um, all good. So I've asked each one of the kids to check in and do a little bit of a vlog, let us know what they're doing today and Michael. So hopefully they're going to do that. I do not care to be away from everybody all, for so long as I am, but I do stay in touch with them. We FaceTime and talk all the time. Um, and Brennan and Katie, of course, are at college and they are in the throes of rush right now. Brennan definitely is uh, for his fraternity and he's the rush chair person. So he's the, the grand poobah in charge of all of that. So he's so excited to do it and saying that it's going well. And Kate, um, she just had physical therapy today. I do know that. So maybe she'll tell you a little bit about, about that. And Ryan's at school. All right, you guys, checking in a little bit later. Hopefully um, I'll check in while I'm flying. If I can't, then I will check in um, when I get to my final destination. See you later. What's up, everyone? It's Brendan Donnelly reporting from Florida State Campus. My friend What's up, Max Rallo, my friend Nick Schwab. We're just bowling in the room. I'm doing some work for Rush right now. Um, no, it's just a cheeky little, uh, what day is it? Monday? It's a Monday. A cheeky Monday. Rush starts tomorrow, so we'll be doing Tuesday, Wednesday stuff. Max is doing his classic gambling. Yeah, you know? you know, important, very important. Quite important, quite important. Schwab did his good deed of the day. Congratulations. Good man. Thank good you. Man. Thank you for your service. <laughs> so yeah, today is pretty, just much, uh, pretty much a chill day, getting ready for this week. And then, um, yeah, I'll be done with Rush and get some more free time after tomorrow. So that's pretty cool. Um, send it back to uh, Jill and Ryan and Mike and Katie. No. Okay, that's the end of the day. I wish you excel. Um, Jilly asked us to uh, give a little update on what we're doing today. So uh, Ryan and I are in Florida and um, Ryan's ride, Charlie, 
who is awesome and picks them up and drops them off every day is uh, um, unavailable to do that. So um, I'm pinch hitting. So I've been dropping them off and well, dropped them off this morning, pick them up today and all week. So Charlie, hurry back because we need you. Uh, so it's Monday. It's a decent day, kind of cloudy, but it's about uh, 68, 69, 70 degrees, somewhere in there. So going to pick up Ryan. We're going to head back. We do a Monday meeting every day, every Monday to talk about his grades and uh, what he needs to do to make sure that um, he has a bright future scholarship by the time he graduates, hopefully uh, in May. So um, we're going to make some progress and uh, picking him up right now. Come on along. There's Ryan Ardo. Hey, what up? How'd that go? Good. Um, Happy Monday. Thank you. Great Monday. Had a little uh, meeting after school, so that was good. Really? Not like a teacher meeting, like a club meeting. A club meeting. Yeah, yeah. Good. Um, but yeah, not a bad Monday. Got wildlife in your life tonight, so that's gonna be fun. Cool. Yeah. Good to get back in the groove. Totally. After a couple days of work. Exactly. Nice. Anyway. All right, here we go. All right. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at my skin. Oh, my gosh. Um, hey, it's me. Um, I just had physical therapy. And I'm sweat. I just turned on my windshield wipers. I'm sweating. And I'm gross. And I always forget that, like, physical therapy, like, they make me do stuff. Like, actual stuff. So I'm like jumping around, looking like an idiot, like sweating so much. Anyways, now I have to go home and shower because I'm gross. But, oh, sorry, this is like super shaky. Um, my car bounces. Um, what's today? Monday? Oh, it's Monday. Um, physical therapy was good. My ankle's getting a lot better. I don't know if you guys know, but I like low key, I didn't break it. It was like a sprain. But it was a bad sprain, okay? Like it wasn't like a, it was, uh, I, it was bad. But they gave me free Powerade, so it's all worth it. Um, What else is going on today? I have to go to the tent later to put it up. Oh my gosh, I do circus with that girl. That's so cool. I'm gonna pass the circus actually, just so I can show you guys. All right. Ah, it's been freezing here which is insane because it's Florida. Okay, there's this girl behind me on her scooter and she's definitely an athlete and she can definitely see me vlogging right now. And that is just really funny to me. Um, the athletes scare me, y'all. They ride around on their scooters and it's like so scary. Oh my gosh, something's on fire. Something is on fire over there. Oh, it might just be a cloud. It might just be, no, that looks like smoke to me. Um, there's the tent, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, look, look really hard. Uh, I think my, I think my thing is blocking it. Um, I don't even know like where I'm going right now. I should be going home. Ah, uh, sorry guys. I'm just a little, I'm just a little mixed up in the head right now. But I'm gonna go home and it's 1:21. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get at my work, start doing some work. Oh, first I'm gonna shower. I'm literally disgusting for physical therapy. Um, get a shower and then start some marketing i think and then maybe some accounting depending on how i'm feeling and then i'm gonna go back to the tent at four because we have to put it back up so we're gonna do that the tongue's blue um what else has been going on guys it's been a while since i've talked to the youtube channel <laughs> I'm just vibing, to be honest. Oh, I got pulled over for the first time. <gasps> Guys, if you haven't seen my TikTok, go watch it. It's kind of funny. I talk about getting robbed, which did happen. But, um, oh, I was talking about getting robbed and like how terrible my week was, which really like, I'm just a happy gal. So like, it didn't affect me that much. But um, I did also get pulled over on the way back from Jacksonville. because I flew out of Jacksonville. And then, wow, that was a really pretty color car. See how, you see that car drive by? It's really pretty. Um, I got pulled over. I lost my, well, I can't say that on, on YouTube. Um, <laughs> I got pulled over for the first time ever. 
and I was a little nervy to be honest because it was dark in the middle of the night and I was like oh my gosh like what if it's a fake cop like what if it's not real turns out it was a real cop <clears throat> sorry police officer and he was like hey I was like hey oh and he came up to my passenger window he came up to my passenger side window and my windows rolled down because my car is so old and um i was like in the driver's seat but i was like leaning over like struggling to like undo my window and it was so silly because he was like sitting there like waiting for me to undo it and then i rolled down my window and he was like mm. he's like hi do you know that you have a headlight out and i was like oh, i have a headlight out i might have forgotten that i did have a headlight out like i knew that i forgot until he brought it up and then i was like oh i was like no like what <laughs> and but it's true i did forget I, I was like i did i did forget um and then he was like yeah so just like be sure to get that fixed and he was like also were you on your phone when i pulled you over and i was like ah uh, no i didn't actually say that because i was on my phone so i said yes um but i wasn't like on my phone like i was on the phone with isla but i wasn't like on the phone like i had my phone in my hand and my arm was like resting on this side thing and i had it like right here so you can see straight through my back. It's not even a window, my back plastic sheet. And was like, distracted driving's very dangerous. And I was like, yes, sir, like, I understand. But here's my thing. Okay, here's my thing. And I'm really passionate about this. And I think I'm, I have to talk to Julie about this because it's something that we should probably talk about. Like, I don't understand why holding your phone is not legal when you're driving, but like you can eat a sandwich. Why is that a thing? Why can I eat a sandwich while I'm driving, but I can't hold my phone? And they'd be like, oh, well, because you're not like looking and like typing on your sandwich. No, but I'm eating it. I'm eating it. And a piece of lettuce is gonna fall out and I'm gonna be distracted by the lettuce, but that's not illegal. What if I'm just trying to have a conversation with my friend on the phone and I'm not even looking at it. It's not even FaceTime. Like it's literally just a call. Anyway, that's something I'm very passionate about. Um, and I'm not advocating for texting and driving or anything like that i'm just saying like it doesn't add up like if we're thinking logically that doesn't make any sense um anyways so mom asked us for a two minute update on our lives and it's been seven minutes so uh, i love you guys i think i'm gonna start my own youtube channel i think oh pff, i already have one i think i'm gonna start posting on my own youtube channel I don't know. I feel like it'd be fun, you know, like a little like long version of things and like story times and stuff. Because honestly, like I do have hella stories to tell. I'm like I'm in college. Like there's so much stuff that you guys like don't even, don't even know about. And I could low key be like, oh my gosh, hey, like blah, 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 blah. you know. Oh, I don't know if I have time for that. This is like right where I got robbed. So let's hope it doesn't happen again, shall we? Oh. I think that's all. Um, oh, except for the fact that my apartment, which is right there, um, they pretty much they suck. I can't get into my apartment because the locks don't work. Like they work, but they won't unlock. And like, I live there. So it's like, I put my key in and it doesn't open. And I'm like, okay, so do you want me dead? Like, is like, like i'm pretty sure they're trying to like kill me um so there's that um anyway so i can't get into my apartments they want me dead on top of that i'm paying so much money for rent like so much money for rent and they close the gym like the gym in my apartment is completely closed like you can't even go in there because they're redoing it but everybody knows it's not going to be done at least at least by this semester like maybe next year but now i'm paying a ton of money for rent which includes the amenities and i can't even use the gym oh so tell me why that's a thing <laughs> did not catch <laughs> <laughs> it's I love. Hello, I was literally. I saw you walking up, and I was like, "Oh, all these people." I was people, like, "What the people heck kept walking by, and I was like, they like, probably think I'm crazy, like talking to myself." Oh, this is I so didn't funny. even notice you were on like talking to your phone, and I was like, and you were staring out the window, and I was like, <laughs> what is this? like, honestly, iconic life. Break. Like, yeah, no, I'm just giving mom an update. She asked for two minutes, and it's been ten minutes and thirty seconds. But do you have anything to tell them? 
I was just telling him about how our gym's closed and we can't get in the door and... Don't use the tanning bed. We don't even have a tanning bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I decided I should be done. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> um, Fair. Just until this is gone. But... Uh, unless it's making it worse, give us advice on if... Yeah. Wait, is this for... YouTube. Yeah. Give us advice on if you think... The tanning bed makes acne. I don't think it does. <laughs> um, I My hypothesis is that it does, but... Okay. Do you think I should start my YouTube channel again? Yes. And then make the first one. Should Katie Donnelly make YouTube again? <laughs> should I continue <laughs> to post on this account? <laughs> Um, no I feel like there. that could be fun though. Like, I feel like it could be like, yeah. we could like turn up. Keep no, I'm coming in right now. Oh, 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 okay. I love you guys. Uh, bye, mom. Kisses. Hi, guys. We made it to Portland, Maine. So, my day started out this morning, and I think I told you what I was doing, right? So, I went from Baltimore to Sarasota, Florida, back to Baltimore, and now to Portland, Maine. It is 11.58 at night, and we made it in, and I've been buying all of these late flights, so when I get in, the restaurant is always closed at the hotel, but generally they give us a bag lunch, and if you saw my Instagram post the other day on It's Jill Donnelly Official, which you should check it out, um, you saw that when I was in Manchester, New Hampshire, they gave us the best chowder oh my gosh it was so good and today we came in and they gave us a bag lunch so i'm going to take you through and show you what is in our bag lunch today i have no idea what's in there but it's heavy it's almost in a lot of food so we have sun chips oh look at that milk that's so cute oh my gosh i, I haven't had like a glass of milk in forever oh my gosh a beautiful looking holy cow there's like a half a pound of ham on there i think it's a ham and cheese sandwich with lettuce and that was my fork. Oh, the biggest cookie in the whole world. Like it's almost as big as my head. Awesome. And they gave us, wait, they gave us mayonnaise, mustard. Oh my gosh, and a granola bar. Holy cremoli. I think I'm going to save this for lunch tomorrow, except the milk. I do think I'm going to drink that right now because that looks so, well, with the cookie. Oh, maybe I'll have milk and cookie. <laughs> That sounds so good. Um, anywho, so I'm gonna save this and eat this tomorrow because we have, um, actually, we don't to really have a long flight tomorrow, but stay tuned because tomorrow, Mike and I have been to Portland, Maine many times, by the way. If you guys been watching for a while, Mike and I um, would come to Maine every fall for like 10 years. We did not go this year, and I don't think we went last year. So we've missed a couple. Mike was gonna join me on this trip, but Things got busy and he wanted to be home with Ryan and everything, so that was totally cool. But anyway, um, tomorrow we're gonna go to a restaurant that Mike and I love. And that's it. So hopefully you guys heard from Brennan and Katie and Ryan and Mike. They all told me they sent in vlog. I haven't seen any of it yet, so I will watch it and um, be delighted probably at the same time you guys watch it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to, oh, what, what a room tour? Let me get you a room tour really quick. Okay, this is my hotel room. The mirror, this is my outfit. Oh, my new boots I got for Christmas from Michael John. Bathroom, oh, I like the diagonal in the bathroom, that's nice. This is cute, little get ready area. Two double beds, little dusky poo, coffee. I think there's a fridge in here, which is really good because I'm gonna take all my stuff that I brought in my, where is it, where is it? Oh, here we go, my little lunch box, which is right there. And I'll put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow because sometimes we get places and they don't have lunch, so we bring lunch with us and I eat on the plane too. Oh, I've been, to, no, I haven't been to that lighthouse. I've been to one in Maine that was similar to that, so beautiful. So there you go, that's the view I have. I'm not exactly sure what it is yet, but I'm excited to see it tomorrow. And that's all she wrote. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed, today, enjoyed today's vlog and getting updates from everybody. I cannot wait to talk to you tomorrow. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. What made me happy today was my cruise. I worked with two different crews and I love, and the passengers, I just thought, I know I sound like a broken record, so I say that all the time, but I just can't get enough of meeting new people. I absolutely love it. So anyway, I worked with two different crews today, amazing people. And my crew that I worked with in Manchester was amazing. So I'm just, um, 
I'm just living my best life, being a flight attendant. Love it, you guys. I'm telling you, if it if it's your calling, if you feel like it's something you want to do, uh, shout out, and I will lead you lead you lead you not astray. I will lead you to the way. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below. Make you a happy day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.